Okay, y'all. So bear bear with me, right? Before we get into this, I would like uh, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, man. On the road to uh, 40 subscribers, and uh, yeah, we we here. Next gen 2K21, my career. Um, I've been a 2K fan for years, right? Uh, since the Dreamcast when Allen Iverson was on the cover. So we gonna rock out his deeper for me because my favorite player um, besides Mike, uh, Michael Jordan is Kobe Bryant. And we lost him um, last year. Uh, so what I wanted to do was make a build. Um, they're similar to Jordan's build, 6'6". Six, six, um, and I'm gonna go with number eight, but I'm gonna make myself a shooting guard. Uh, we gonna get into it. I'm gonna go with the 6'6 six, six build. Uh, I don't know nothing of what they did. I know Kobe was like 205. Mike was about 215. I wanna be like in that 210 range. I wanna be able to post. You know, I wanna have, I wanna have, you know, a bigger frame. I don't wanna be too big, but uh, I wanna be able to do things. Uh, I think we'll keep the 610 wingspan. Yeah, we do a 610 wingspan. Burly. Uh, if I'm going to find, ooh, does that make a difference? I'm gonna make my build. I'm a burly type of dude. I'm kind of, I'm a kind of a big guy. Uh, not in height, but I'm in width. <laughs> they say, Rob, you're big, just you're big. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this for right now. And just see how I go, but uh, primary my takeover unlocks more effective euro spin, hop, cradle gathers, and avoids jams. Finish move, finishing moves, contact layups, easy blow bys, pull up precision, ankle breaking primary. So, oh, I can pick over, pick my takeover. I'm definitely gonna pick that as a secondary defense wise. Team badge increases the effectiveness of your teammates' offensive badges for perimeter time. Passing. Team takeover. Boost the progress of each of your teammates' takeover meters. Negative impact reduces the impact of shot contestant against pull up, step backs, and spin shots. Pull up, easy blow bys, finishing moves. Advanced gathers. Ability to drive by defenders, making it easy to get to the rim. Okay. Uh, easy blow bys. And I'm not a hooper, bro. I like playing basketball, but I'm not a hooper. I'm a fan of the game. Um, I'm a historian as well, cause I I love going back and talking to my dad about uh, old players and stuff back in the day. I think I'm gonna go with easy blow bys, which it is what it is. Uh, but I definitely. Dream clamps. Perimeter badge. Props it. Provides a large boost to your shot contest. All right, we're gonna do extreme clamps. Jerry Stackhouse, Clay Thompson, two-way slashing shot creator. 
Uh, do I want to test build? No, we're going to just jump right into it. Two-way slash and shot creator. A Clay Thompson. Jerry Stackhouse. Now, I remember back in the day, Jerry Stackhouse, when he used to play for uh, Philly and the Pistons, they, you know, that he was supposed to be the next Mike. So, how everybody doing today? Now, one thing is, I know 2K got a lot of, uh, I don't know if his music supposed to be playing right here, but 2K got a lot of copyrighted music that'll get you to band land. So I don't know if they actually playing music right now or not. Um, but I, I took the music, I took the, I took the music off. I, I put it all the way down because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Now it's another game. They just said Jesse Williams. It's another game, and I didn't look at the uh, the my career for 2K21 on on the PlayStation 4 when it came out. I was honestly just like, you know, it is what it is. I'm not about to. Uh, I ain't about to do that. Okay, give me one. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Give me one sec. The team of the century. That's got to be bittersweet. No one gave you a chance, and you almost pulled off the upset of all time. What are your emotions right now, Duke? You know, I missed the shot. This is my family, and I, uh, I let them down. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So you are Dykeman tonight? Yeah. Those were grown men. Face. Good players. Season. A couple of them played D1. <laughs> Held your own. That's the real game, right? Outside the gym. Follow me out here? Let's just say that I'm in the city a lot and we just happen to be there at the same time. <laughs> You can play. Your footwork and floor spacing needs a bit of cleanup. But yeah, I told you I'm a football player. Yeah, you're a senior now. And I told you I am a football player. How many D1 player. football offers you got so far? Tough. Committed. Plays the game the right way. You're a great player. But great isn't special. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, coach. That's a pitch. Trash. Get in the Start a pitch. Still open. Yeah. Stoudemire. Duncan didn't play organized ball until they were 14. Steve Francis was 16. Giannis was playing soccer until someone wised up, probably gave him the same speech. And now he's an MVP. Okay, so what, coach? I mean, I'm not just some charity case you want to help out? What's in it for you? Right. Wins. I have a lot of good kids. I need special. I'm special. Your natural ability is, yes. If I play basketball again, it starts all over. Those questions. It becomes about him again. It's never been just me, it's always been us. Stop running and take him on. When we first met, you told me how you loved New York, bled New York. You wanted to be part of a bigger world. This is how you get it. Maybe football is your game. I mean, you play like you're trying to run your head through a brick wall. <laughs> nah, this game ain't for you. This game's all about nuance. Subtlety, son. Paul Frazier, Bill Russell, MJ. Yeah, hey, what about LeBron? He was a football player. You ever seen that man pass? That's the beautiful game right there. Yo, Duke, 
Great to see you on the court again, baby. Yo, we saw you win state. Brick City for real, son. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. See that, son? Right there? That's what I'm about. What are you about? I don't know what I don't know what the hell going on with the audio, but we testing that out. Jer that jersey color. Jersey. Right now, this is a rebirth. We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come on. All right. Let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. I said, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Eagles. Junior, just a second. Man, my face looks weird. No pressure here. It is what it is. All you gotta do is be better than me in my first game. Yeah. All right, so what happened? Just aim for more points than turnovers, all right? And you'll do fine. This is your moment. Nice Enjoy. job. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this broadcast of Garden State IAA Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We can't wait to get another season rolling, and we look to get a great matchup to kick things off. Well, a classic matchup with the Newark East Eagles playing host to the Burton Hornets. Both teams looking to improve on their final positions from last year. A win tonight would be a great step towards that goal. I'm not using that, bro. I'm not. Okay, so I'm not shoot. Shot aiming. The pro stick behavior. Nope. Bobby not, Erickson not, leads the way for the Hornets. Shooting. They go get. Hold on. I'm not shooting. No shot meter. No shot, shot timer. Uh, I ain't doing none of that. Oh my God. No. Turn that off. Dribble moves. I do not use the shot stick. Don't believe in it. It's an Eagles team with quite a few new faces. Still, though, Newark is led by senior KJ Day. And the crowd will be a factor here for the Eagles. This is the type of atmosphere you love to see at the high school level. And here is the starting five to begin the year for the Eagles. Day, the new team captain, returns to run the point while we see a new face at the two position with Junior getting a start. And as most predicted, the front court pair is going to be Lack and Zadirko while Mercedes slots in at the five. And the Hornets come in with their usual lineup. Luan and Dermanenko are in the backcourt. Star forward Bobby Erickson begins the game at the three. Ramadas and Eslanoglu fill out the four and five spots. Well, you have to love the charm of the Newark East Gym. The facility might not be top of the line, but it has a lot of history for the Eagles. And there have been talks about getting a new gym built on campus, but that's something that's a decade away on the school board's agenda. As you said, this gym just fits with the legacy of the Newark East Eagles. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Junior inside. He's guarded by Dermanenko. And it's Junior missing. I'll tell you what, that's one he wants back. It was high percentage, but it wasn't going that time. Inside, Ramados. No luck on that one. Nice D from Dave Zadirko. Five misses to start the game, still looking for their first basket. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And that sends Junior to the free throw line. It's going to be on Ash Ramados. And a new group Chad. getting ready for the Hornets. And that one misses. Like a lot of players from Newark, Junior plays with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. Seems like Erickson of the Hornets can have the touch at the arc. Sends it in with a nice clean stroke. 
outside Day. And here is Junior. Try to come back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Now here's Erickson. Levesque, pass to Porter. To the middle. First shot, first basket. He is out of the blocks fast. Well, seeing Junior out there, you can't help but think of his legendary father, Duke. Hey, One of the biggest names in the area. Junior, he's guarded by Dermanenko. And good that time. And his scoring has been a really big boost for them today. They've leaned on him, and he's come through. Outside Levesque. Bobby Erickson into the lane. That one doesn't drop. Jonathan Lack with some nice D. To the inside. Out of bounds, it'll be Hornets ball. When you're driving home, you're gonna be thinking about sloppy plays like that for a while. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And Duke, a star here at Newark who went on to have a great run at the collegiate level. And to call Duke a high school star doesn't even begin to paint the full picture. Everyone from that era knew who Duke was. I'm sure they're ecstatic to see what Junior can do. Here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. What a read there from Lack, recognizing the overcommitment and making the D pay for this mistake. Pass to Dermanenko, returns it to Erickson. That one drops, and he's now two for five. Absolutely great job on the screen. He removes the defender completely out of the equation. No doubt the star of this Burton squad is Bobby Erickson. He's a gifted scorer and playmaker, and he's been with the Hornets for quite some time now, and he's been the star. The defense might think he'll miss when he's that open, but let's be honest, he usually won't. Pass to Porter, Erickson. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone by so far. That's his fourth miss from the floor. He's made two of six now. Zadirko outside. Day, Junior, Erickson defending. And there's the foul. That'll go on Dermanenko. That's his first foul. So it's both teams making a change here. Junior outside. From 12 feet out. Huh. Come on. A rebound oh, by Luan. That was right on the and with Erickson, guys, you see his release, and you know immediately uh, he's a terrific shooter. He's going to have no problems oh God, putting it I'm on the floor as well. That's true. I mean, Erickson plays bigger than he actually is, and that helps him finish on the inside. Colleges have shown a lot of interest in him since his breakout performance his sophomore year. He'll most likely be transitioning to shooting guard when he gets to that next level. Junior, left side. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And with Junior, you don't want to only talk hey. about who his father is, hey. but it's a shadow he'll be under as long as he's on the hardwood. It might be the reason why Junior didn't immediately take to basketball as a sport, but the similarities in their games are already apparent. Junior looks to be just as talented as his dad was, even if he's a bit raw. Outside, in These, the two dudes I'm talking about. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half of play. It's the Eagles up by four. Content and we send it to halftime now, back with the third quarter right after this. I wasn't about to do 100 face cams. I did it one time and that was it. Levesque with it. Pass to Erickson. Here's Ramadas over Zadirko. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots coming. That's on Zadirko. Well, the Eagles were hoping someone would step up and take the shooting guard spot. Seems like Junior might be that guy. 
and he might be a bit rough around the edges at first, but you can see the instincts are there for him. It won't be long until he looks like a natural. And he makes the first. I watch a lot of, uh, I get to talk to people when it comes to this 2K stuff. This is easy for me, this is life. So, who's, who's y'all favorite player? Tom. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Eagles with the lead. Now Junior, right side. Outside for Lack. Back to Junior. And Junior throws it down. Space. This could be a big night for a Junior. He's performing admirably, really setting the tone for the Eagles out there. Germanenko outside. Outside Erickson. With me, man. Yeah, I think why. Picked up by Ramadas. Bobby Erickson into the lane. And you look at the play style of Bobby Erickson, very much a modern wing who can play off the ball or initiate things for this offense as well. And Erickson might be lined up out on the wing, but he'll do pretty much everything you ask of him in this offense. Coach figured out very quickly this team is at its best when Erickson has the ball in his hands. One shot. Here in this third quarter, right, just over a minute played. Dermanenko outside. Outside Erickson. Second chance shot. Jonathan Lack with some nice D. That's too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive on his finishes. Shoots it. Again, Newark East. I like the energy they brought here to the third quarter. Trying to take control of this game. And this is the time to do it. A critical point in the ball game is right upon us. Bobby Erickson for three. Kept alive by Burton. Two minutes into the second half now. Here's Porter. On the wing, Bobby Erickson. Back to Porter. James Marcedo with the block. I love when Marcedo leverages his reach and height on D. Able to cleanly deny the shot attempt. Well, the Eagles looking to get some great production from their guard KJ Day this season. Now a senior, he has all the tools to lead the charge and be the spark for this offense. Bobby Erickson with the steal. I like that animation because I didn't set up for the post. I didn't set up for the post. Levesque. Dermanenko outside, pass to Porter. Now here's Erickson, guarded by Day. And once again, off the mark by Burton. And with Day, he's impressed as a junior. You just love the way he brings it on both sides of the ball. Absolutely, Joe. Day isn't just a scorer or initiator. He's a pest on the defensive end. Day's versatile enough to fill any role at either guard position when his team has the ball. And with this huge lead for the Newark East Eagles, they've come out and set the tone they really want to set for the rest of the season. Coach Bishop talked about a season of change. A game like that illustrates exactly what the school is after. Strong showing from the Eagles as they look to have this one wrapped up. Well, Dermanenko looks in the zone on that last drive. He wasn't going to let anything keep him from the shot. Junior, he's guarded by Dermanenko. And Junior gets it to go. He's been a force on offense all game long, at times carrying the whole team. 
He helped construct this lead, and he's making sure they maintain it. Back to Levesque. They double him with Junior. Pass to Ramadas. Back to Levesque. Ramadas outside. Dermanenko outside. The second chance effort. And Ramadas with the lay in. Check out Ramadas' effectiveness around the rim. Only a sophomore and already so set on pursuing those second chance shots. Pass to Marceda. Now Junior. And it's Dermanenko with the rebound. About a minute and a half gone by in the fourth quarter now. And they pick up two. Germanenko taking what he sees on the offensive end of the floor. Nice job capitalizing from this area. And the free throw, no good. Outside, Day. And here's Junior outside. Another miss by Junior. Burton trailing here. Here's Erickson. Newark East grabs the miss. Junior outside. And we're two minutes here into the fourth. That one drops for him. Good inside shot by Junior, showing us he knows how to use those physical gifts in the paint. Pass to Porter. Erickson. There's the three. It's rebounded by Day. A lot of bricks put up off his shots. One reason is he keeps trying to force it when he's guarded. Move the ball around. The effort that Day makes to provide for his team is absolutely exceptional. He works hard keeping all the Eagles involved. I don't know if he just ran out of gas or what, but he's been awful ever since the second half started. The rebound by Porter. Outside Erickson. Pass to Levesque. Outside Erickson. Now Junior. And here's Lack oh, like for three. That. Yes, it. and it's like Junior it. picking up the assist. From like range, Lack can be so effective. Can't wait to see him looking even like better it. from the arc next year. Here's Erickson. And he cannot wait for this quarter to come to an end. Seems like nothing is bouncing his way, no matter what he tries. Junior outside. Another three from Newark East. And this is how you finish a game. They keep adding to this lead and putting it on them. It really speaks to how competitive these guys are. They're just gonna keep playing until that final buzzer sounds. First one falls. And make no mistake, Erickson is the guy who drives this Hornets team. He can do it all for them at the three spot. And he makes both free throws. We've played just over three. And the final horde sounds chalk one up for the Eagles. They get the win here at home and a fantastic start to the season. And the level of skill from the last few years is visibly better for the Eagles. Junior seems to fit right in with the rest of the team. Newark East fans have to be excited about how they look.
and the Hornets didn't lose this game, the Eagles won it. To get a win over a talented Burton team says a lot for the future of Newark East this season. And that'll do it for our broadcast of Garden State IAA Hoops. For Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger, I'm Joe Lamy. Thanks for watching. Yo, look who's got some serious skill. Oh, you like that? Huh? You like that? <laughs> Kid, that was something special watching you out there tonight. Yo, wait, wait up. Wait. Man, how you doing, kid? My name is Archie. Archie Baldwin. Dad and I were teammates. Yeah, I think I remember that. Can't remember, though. For sure, uh, I was just a little kid when we were still playing ball. Well, he sure loved you. Talked about you all the time. There was a story about a purple jumper. You had to wear this yeah. thing every day or you it's would blue. cry. But nice to meet you, Ar Archie. Archie? Yeah, nice it, to meet look, you. I I'll get right to the point. Upside? Off the charts. Strong basketball IQ, high motor, and you understand tempo. It's a package. Easy to sell. Sell? Yeah. So who? Like, scholarship? Exactly. Is that something you think? Or something you know you can do? I mean, it's only one game. You show me what you got on the next one, give me some high numbers, and we'll talk. But for right now, enjoy the moment. You said Archie, right? Archie Baldwin. Archie! <laughs> okay, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it right here. MVP recap, that was dope. Um, I'm gonna leave it right here, man. I'm just gonna come back with some more... Two K twenty one, my career. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Dope, man. Oh, I'm getting VC. Is there anything else you about to get me? You about to show something else? Okay. Uh, they showing more. <laughs> I'm, bro. This is all new to me. Bro, because I really didn't want to watch no, I didn't want to watch no more 2K, my careers, or none of that stuff. So I'm going into this like freshly squeezed lemonade. Okay, so we're gonna stop it right here. Once again, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna chop this up, edit this stuff up, and uh, come back with y'all, man, on the next one, man. Holla at your boy. I am out. Peace.